Good evening. Hello, teacher. Hello, class. Hello, hello. Okay. Okay, there we go. Let me see. Okay, I'm ready. Hi, class. Nice to see you. To the ones who have the cameras on. Let's wait for your classmates to do the same, right? I can see Valeria, Catherine, Irving Ezequiel, Carla Patricia right there. Hi, guys. Welcome back. Today is Monday. It's going to be the beginning of a new session. And the same as section, section number three. We're going to start with section number three in today's class. And we are going to cover section number three. And on Thursday, we are going to make the review from the midterm exam. Remember that you have the activities from section number three and also the midterm exam, okay? So there we go. Hi, Wendy. Yeah, Wendy yeah, it's a real, it's a real. Okay, yeah, how yeah, many yeah. students do we have? We have already 90 students, nine, nine, nine students. Let's wait for your classmates a little bit. Nine students already. So we are going to start right now. How are you, class? Tell me about, about your weekend. What did you do during the weekend? Tell me about the activities that you did during the weekend. What did you do? Huh? How do we express that in English? Using the simple path. What did you do during the weekend? Yes. No hicimos nada durante el fin de semana. No? Yes. Remember, this is a conversation. Imaginamos el contexto real. Si nos preguntan, no nos vamos a atemorizar, no, tratemos de decir algo, ok, how was your weekend, oh, it, wa it was ok, it was nice, teacher, what did you do, que hicieron I went, yo fui I went to the supermarket para que I, caigan dos patadas en una I visited my grandparents I did the homework. Tratemos de utilizar entonces los verbs in the simple past. All right? Okay, at least once. Uno por lo menos. ¿Qué hicieron en el weekend? What did you do during the weekend? Hmm? At least once. I was cooking with my family. Okay, you cooked with your family. Wow. What did you cook? Chicken. Chicken. Okay. Eh, beef, ¿cómo es carne? Yeah. Beef. beef. Eh, quiero ver. Uh -huh. eh, pupusas, no sé si es, eso no se traduce quizá. Uh -huh. In English we can say pupusas. Ajá, sí, es que es de, de un negocio familiar, algo así. Ah, ok. A family business. Family business. Pupusas. Family. Business, negocio, family, familiar. Very good job. Excellent, Valeria. Do you remember the last topic? On Thursday, we were practicing the use of prepositions. Do you remember what type of prepositions we were talking about? Or can you mention the three prepositions of time that we were practicing? during the class? Three prepositions of time. 
at in on. At in on. Can you tell me which of those prepositions is very specific time when we talk about a specific time? Which is the preposition? Excellent. Which one did you say? At. How about if I want to talk about a specific date or a specific day? Which preposition am I going to use? Una fecha en específico. ¿Qué preposición? For example, my birthday is, and on. then we give a specific time. Okay. My birthday is February 24. Okay, so we say my birthday is at February 24, on February 24th, or my birthday is in February 24th. February 24th, which is the correct one? My birthday is on. On, very good job. What if I want to talk about months, seasons, years, centuries, or long periods of time? We have to use in. We have to use in, that's it. So this is the review, so you can remember about this topic. Los que no estuvieron en clase, recuerden, la grabación queda siempre en plataforma. Explicamos el Thursday about prepositions of time. Preposiciones no de lugar, sino de tiempo. At, on, in. Y vamos desde lo más específico con at hasta lo más general. The preposition in. Entonces... Este cuadro es el que nosotros debemos recordar. Así, entre más practiquemos, más fácil va a ser de utilizar. Class. ¿Qué clase vamos ya? Clase número 5, 6. Do you remember? Which is the class that we are going to have in five, five. There we go. Section number 3. How much is it how much is it how much is it okay analicemos esta pregunta how much is it qué tipo de pregunta será esta se acuerdan que tenemos dos tipos de preguntas is this a yes no question it's a wh question there we go no es una yes no esta es una wh Y le agregamos acá cantidad, algo que denota cantidad. How much is it? ¿Cuánto cuesta? ¿Cuánto cuesta? Entonces, miren la sección 3. Vamos a practicar esta estructura que es muy útil. ¿Cuánto cuesta algo? ¿Cómo preguntar? Y cómo dar respuesta. Imagínense, tengo, vaya, lo, lo que me mencionaban, ¿verdad? El negocio familiar. ¿Cuánto cuesta? Ah, entonces me preguntan a mí, ¿cómo respondo a esta pregunta? Esa es nuestra meta para la semana. But for today's class, class number five, we are going to practice, or probably we are going to make a review because you already know this topic. Y le vamos a agregar esto nada más. Estas palabras, one and once. ¿Será que recordamos este tema? Demonstratives. Or what comes to your mind when you read the word demonstratives. What are the demonstratives, class? Can you give me some examples about the demonstratives? Veamos qué tanto nos acordamos del tema. Demonstratives. Miss, I don't know if demonstratives are these, these, here, those, that. Yes, those are the ones. Saben que a veces nos pasa que tal vez sabemos utilizarlos, pero no sé cómo se llaman en inglés. 
¿Por qué? Porque es un título que le damos a veces a estas palabritas. Y esos son, great job, this, that, this, and those. That's all right. Those are the demonstratives. Y como la palabra dice, ¿a qué nos ayuda? A ¿Ah? indicar. Tal vez la, le adaptamos ahí la, la traducción. Tal vez no demostrar. Ad, ajá. Indicar sobre un objeto. En este caso vamos a practicar este, ese, estos. Eso. Ok. So, para dar introducción al tema, I am going to show you this video. Remember, you can use the platform, you can watch the videos before the class or even after the class. So, class number five, what are we going to do? We are going to practice about demonstrative. Are these pronouns? Are these adjectives? Ahorita lo vamos a descubrir. Si son adjetivos, son nombres, son verbos. ¿Qué será? Vamos a ver acá. As you may see, to start with this topic, demonstratives, we are going to start the class or this lesson with a conversation. En medio de esa conversación, vamos a introducir o vamos a presentar nuestro tema para ahora. So class, I need you to listen because we are going to practice by reading the dialogues from this conversation. Here we go. Hi, we're now in section three. What is your neighborhood like? Please pay attention and try to understand the audio as much as possible. Remember, you may access to this conversation as many times as needed. I recommend for you to take notes while you are listening. In this lesson, participants will listen to a conversation about demonstratives while shopping. Oh, look at those earrings, Maria. They're perfect for you. These red ones? I'm not sure. No, the yellow ones. Oh, these? Hmm, yellow isn't really a good color for me. Well, that necklace isn't bad. Which one? That blue one right there. How much is it? It's $42. That's expensive. Hey, let me get it for you. It's your birthday present. Happy birthday. Okay, let's listen again to the conversation so we can practice the pronunciation. Please pay attention and try to understand the audio as much as possible. Here we Remember, go. Remember, you may access to this conversation as many times as needed. I recommend for you to take notes while you are listening. In this lesson, participants will listen to a conversation about demonstratives while shopping. Okay. Oh, look at those earrings, Maria. They're perfect for you. These red ones? I'm not sure. No, the yellow ones. Oh, these? Hmm. Yellow isn't really a good color for me. Well, that necklace isn't bad. Which one? That blue one right there. How much is it? It's $42. That's expensive. Hey, let me get it for you. It's your birthday present. Happy birthday. Okay, happy birthday. No, so, the yellow Who one. do we have in this conversation? Tell me his name. Tell me about this girl that we have here. What's his name? What's her name? Steve and Marie. Okay, his name is? Steve, and she is? Maria. She is Maria. What are they doing right now? What are they doing? They're shopping. Yeah. Comprando aritos. Mm -hmm. How do we say comprando aritos? How do we say that? Yeah, you're right, Wendy. Buying. How do we say that? Earrings. Buying. They are buying. Earring. Earrings. Remember earring. Earrings. But we also have not only earrings. We have necklace. We also have necklace. Necklace. And necklace. Earrings. Earrings. Oh, 
Look at those earrings, Maria. They are perfect for you. These red ones. These red ones. I'm not sure. No. The yellow ones. Oh, these. Hmm. Yellow isn't really a good color for me. What is Maria's opinion about the earrings? What is she thinking or what is she expressing about the earrings class? Does she like this? She doesn't like yellow. She doesn't like yellow, right? How about the red one? What is her favorite color according to the conversation? Mm -hmm. uh, the blue one. Ah, okay, that's it. So yellow is not. Yellow isn't really a good color for me. She doesn't like yellow. Okay. No earrings. She doesn't like earrings. Well, that necklace. Less. Necklace isn't bad that necklace isn't bad take a look at this opinion or this expression que quiere decir con esta opinión clase isn't bad that necklace no está mal o sea, probablemente habla de que si no le gustaron los earrings Ok, podemos elegir entonces los... Well, the necklace. Which one? ¿Cuál? Oh, that blue one right there. How much is it? It's $42. That's expensive. Hey, let me get it for you. Let me get it for you. It's your birthday present. Happy birthday. Wow. Maria is going to get a necklace because it's her birthday. Right. Questions about pronunciation or probably vocabulary in the conversation. Alguna palabra, chicos, nueva. Probably an expression. Porque vamos a practicar um, esta conversación. Yeah, tell me. Yes. Uh, the palabra next, next slides. Vaya, a neck, acuérdense, es una parte del cuerpo, neck. Y luego, less. 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 Vamos a ponerla por acá. Escuchémosla. Vaya, para que la ponga. Vamos a ir pausando. En esta lección, participantes will listen to a conversation about demonstratives while shopping. Ok. Oh, look at those earrings, Maria. They're... Ok. Oh. Traten de repetir para que de la conversación o del audio, pueden ustedes pues imitar lo que escuchamos. Vamos, clase. Si gustan, pueden encender su micrófono, si no, pues está perfecto. Once again, here we go. Let me bring this conversation back. Veamos si no funciona. Yeah, sí. they're perfect for you. These red ones, I'm not sure. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Let me go back right here. Here we go. Let me stop sharing right now so I can get back to this conversation. Acuérdense que pueden practicar esta conversación tantas veces sea necesario y traten de imitar. Try to imitate what you listen. Okay, aquí está. Yeah, they're perfect for you. These red ones? I'm not sure. No. The yellow ones. Oh, these? Hmm. Yellow isn't really a good color okay, for me. Okay, here we go. Well, that necklace isn't bad. Okay, that necklace. Necklace. No suena como lace, no. Necklace. Necklace. That necklace isn't bad. Okay, that necklace. Any other word or any other expression that you want to practice? Necklace. Hoy estamos bien con la pronunciación class. Are we okay with this conversation? I guess, right? 
It's not that difficult. So class, as the first activity, you are going to practice the conversation with your classmates. Practice as many times as possible in five minutes. Si es posible, practiquen dos, tres veces la conversación. Switch role. Cambien de papel. Y si vamos a apoyar a mi compañero haciendo algunas correcciones, hagámoslo de la mejor manera, ¿ok? Estamos para apoyarnos todos. Voy a enviar la imagen a WhatsApp y ustedes se unen en grupos. Here we go, class. Remember, it's time to practice pronunciation. ¿Ok? Is it clear what we are going to do? I guess, right? I really hope so. So here we go. Let me see. Okay, class, time to practice and then we come back. Let me send this picture to WhatsApp right now. First activity for today's class. Buenas noches, yo me acabo de conectar porque no podía. ¿Le está dando problemas el Inter? Sí. Vaya, eh, igual Lenin, si no la deja unirse a un grupo o a la sala, puede quedarse acá en la sala principal bueno, y practicar con los que se queden acá. ¿okay? Conectados, ¿quiénes no tienen? Excelente. Ok, who else? Veo ahí a Jessica. Jacqueline, todavía, Jamie, and Gloria. Hi, teacher. Hola. Problemas con mi internet. Oh, ok, ok. Vaya, entonces, si quiere practique la conversación con los que se quedan acá en el grupo principal. Ok. Don't worry. Here we go. Okay, time to practice, don't worry. Okay, time to practice. Remember, you have the picture. So you're going to practice with your classmates. Go, please. Pero no, no, a mí no me, ah, ya. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> No, don't worry, don't worry. Go ahead, please. Don't worry. No me cargue la compu, pero aquí la tengo el teléfono. No sé si usted puede ver el teléfono. O... A ver. Oh, look at... Look at... Those early Maria, they are perfect for you. And text read one. I'm not sure. No, the yellow ones. Oh, text and and yellow inks really a good color for me. Well, that necklace. The necklace is in bad. Which which one? That blue one right there. How much is it is it? Um it's for two thanks expensive. Hey, let me get 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 it for you. It's your birthday present. Oh. Happy birthday. Bye. Y ahora yo empiezo con Steve y usted con María. Bye. Ahí voy. Birthday. Bye. Si gusta lo volvemos a decir y ahora yo voy a hacer Steve. Okay. Um, sería Oh, look at this, those earrings, Maria. They are perfect for you. 
these red ones? I'm not sure. No, the yellow ones. Oh, the, this um, yellow isn't really a good color for me. Well, that Nick. Hi, Gloria. What happened? <laughs> Se me quedó solita, Gloria. I have problems with the, with the internet. With the internet. No sé. Ah, sí, es... no sé por qué siempre que nos unimos así en grupitos pequeños, yeah. siempre me quedo así afuera. Ok, yeah, because Jessica and Sebastián, they were in this group. So okay. let's see, la envío con Jessica, Carolina y Carla, tal vez ahí sí podemos. Room number one, go please with your classmates, excellent. I'm not sure. No, the yellow ones. Oh, this mm, yellow isn't really a good color for me. Well, that necklace isn't bad. Which color? That blue one right there. How much is it? It's... I don't know. Okay, time to come back. What happened, Sebastián? Es, eh, en la sala 4 no había nadie y aquí habían dos, dos señoritas y ya no están se acaban de ir ajá es que a varios les están fallando les está fallando el inter porque sí en la sala 4 se me quedó solita quién era what's it bueno, no recuerdo creo que era Gloria que se me quedó solita pero sí ah, aquí bueno. estamos ya don't worry Okay, I was listening to you. You're having a good pronunciation. Excellent, guys. Keep on doing that great job. Muy buena pronunciación. Así que solo hay palabritas que creo que hay que practicar un poquito más, but that's all right. Okay, let me check the attendance list. So please, say here or present. Can you tell me today's date? What day is it today? Let's practice. Today is Monday. Sixth. Monday what? Sixth. Monday, March. Hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. Recordemos yeah. del orden. Monday, March, sixth. That's all right. Vaya, empiece con Andrea Esther Acosta. Andrea Esther Acosta. Present Miss. Very good. Andrea Natalia Rivas. Present Miss. Very good. Dolores Patricia Chávez. Present teacher. Ok. Gloria Guadalupe Ortiz. Present. Gloria Irving Alirio Alvarado. Present teacher. Very good. Irving Ezequiel Martín. Here teacher. Excellent. Jacqueline Vanessa Quijada. Present. Excellent. Jenny Margarita Maeda. Present. Ok, all right. Jessica Carolina Reyes. Present. Perfect. Jessica Elizabeth Monterrosa. Jessica Elizabeth Monterrosa. Karen Alexandra Martínez. Karen Alexandra Martínez. Carla Elizabeth Gómez. Present Miss. Ok, that's all right. Carla Patricia Herrera. Present Miss. Perfect. 
Catherine Giselle Bonilla. Present me. Okay. Catherine Marielos Melendez. Present me. Excellent. Lenin Hernández Flores. Present me. Perfect. Mercy Esther Blanco. Present. Okay, Mercy. Sebastián Edgardo Martínez. Present. Excellent. Valeria del Carmen Alfaro. Present Miss. Perfect. Vanessa Alejandra Méndez. Present teacher. Okay, excellent. And Wendy Beatriz Toledo. Present teacher. Very good. Vamos a ver. No he chequeado el chat. No sé si hay en WhatsApp alguna justificación de ausencia o no. Porque tengo tres ausentes en la clase. Y que bueno. escribieron dos. ¿Verdad? ¿Se, ¿Se identificaron? No. Yo escribí al inicio, Tisha, porque no escuchaba. Tuve que salirme y volver a meterme. Por eso que... Le falló nue después. nuevamente, me imagino. Sí, bueno. sí pero aquí estamos. Vale, sí, ya ah, le pusimos la Yo chica. también escribí. Ah, vale, ah, pues ahí está. Estoy así como que me está fallando el internet. Sí, ¿verdad, no, Jessica? Eso veo que se le desconecta el internet, ¿verdad? Vale, bueno, chicos. Con la conversación tengamos solo a dos. Yo ya los escuché a varios grupos. Lo están haciendo muy bien. Ok, vamos a ver. Eh, two volunteers. One is going to play Steve. Sebastián, muy bien. And the other one is going to play Maria. Maria. So, Sebastián, you're going to play Steve. I'm missing Maria. Okay. Oh, ¿Quién será María? Pero I'm not, I don't have María. ¿Quién me falta de María? Ajá, ¿quién es María? Ok, gracias. Vamos. Three, okay. two, and one. Oh. Uh, ¿Ya? Yeah? Yes, go please, now. Ok. Oh, look at those earrings, María. They are perfect for you. It's red ones. I'm not sure. No, the yellow ones. Oh, this? Mm. Yellow isn't really a good color for me. Well, that neck necklace isn't bad. Which one? That blue one right there. How much is, is it? It's 42. That's expensive. Hey, let me get it for you. It's your birthday present. Happy birthday. That's amazing. Great pronunciation. I really like it, guys. Perfect. So, as you were mentioning before, demonstratives. These are the ones that we are going to cover in today's class. Remember that we have demonstratives when we want to talk about singular in this case, an object, we can also use the verb people, right? But in this case, we only have these examples using apples. Singular, near, and far. And we also have the example for plural. When we have near object, or when we have the objects that are far from us. Take a look at the examples that we have. I like this. This, in this case, it is indicating. It's showing us. Acuérdense que los demonstrativos nos indican. They indicate. Indicate. In this case, what can we conclude? That is singular and that is apple. It's near. We can also have plural form. Close and far. These, those. Esto ya lo vimos en otros módulos. But let's have this practice in today's class. We are going to have this class. Ah, okay. The definition. Aquí está. Aquí se las traía. Demonstrative pronouns. They identify someone. Que hace referencia a persona. Or something. Miren la estructura. This. 
Tenemos el verbo to be por acá. This is my chair. That is Peter's house. These are her clothes. Those are migrating, migrating birds. Migrating birds. Están moviendo de lugar. Migrate, migrating. Okay, but the examples that we are going to have in this class, as we already know, we are going to practice by talking about prices. Same prices in English. It's very easy. Empecemos por ahí. Same prices. How much is it? In this case, if we want to talk about cents only, we are just going to mention the amount. And after that, we are going to say cents. No importa en sí la currency. ¿Saben qué es esto? Currency. ¿Qué tipo de currency podemos tener? Secuencia o... Mm -hmm. Vamos a ver si captan que es currency. Dollars. Euros. We can have euros. euros. Moneda. Como moneda. Ah, moneda. la moneda de un país. ¿Cómo se le llama entonces a la moneda de un país? Currency. Ajá, entonces no importa. Si estoy hablando de dollars and euros. Van a ser siempre cent. How much is it? 99 cents sentado decimos al final, ¿ok? If we talk about different prices, in this case, 28, 28 dollars with no extra cents. Exact price, precios exactos. We do the same, right? We are just going to say the price. In this case, 28 what? Dollars. Oh, but we can also have euros y otra moneda que tengamos okay so 28 28 what dollars because remember we are practicing in this case the use of dollars the same as in united states what about if we have prices that they are not exact we are just going to mention in this case the quantity of dollars and we are going to add after that the cents that we have in the price. How much is it? $28 and 99. Eso se lleva un orden, lleva un end. 28. Luego decimos el qué? Dólares. Es muy importante decir dólares, no solo 28. No, porque no sabemos de qué currency estamos hablando. 28 dólares. And, siempre le agregamos el and para destacar que son centavos. And then we say 99. Ok, 9. ¿Y 99 qué, chicos? Cents. Entonces, hagamos la distinción. ¿Cuáles son los dólares y cuáles son los centavos? How much is it? It's. $28 and 99 cents. Ok. Ahí están los precios. Questions about this? Preguntas de cómo expresar precios en inglés. Is it difficult? If not, let's practice. Practiquemos. Ok. Same prices is not that difficult. Solo algo así. Que no quiero que olvidemos esto. Al inicio siempre decimos it. ¿Se acuerdan cuando decíamos la hora en inglés? What time is it? ¿Qué le teníamos que agregar al inicio siempre? It's 9 o'clock. It's 8.24. Lo mismo con el precio. No olviden tener la estructura correcta. Siempre vamos a decir it's al inicio. No solo 28.99. No. It's 28 dollars and 99 cents. It's, it's, it's. How much is, how much are? First of all, that we have here, the first example, take a look at the pictures that we have here. ¿Qué tenemos en las pictures? Can you describe this? ¿Quién describe esta? What is this class? What is this? Is this a shirt or a t-shirt? This 
of teacher. Ah, and what color is it? Green. And green. Just green and black. Green and black. Uh -huh, green and black. Can you tell me about this t-shirt? What color is it? Blue. Blue. Okay. So how many do I have here? How many t-shirts do I have here? ¿Cuántas tengo acá? One. 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 Muy bien. One. Por eso estamos preguntando con la primer parte. Sería esta. How much is? Porque solo hay una. Vamos a ver. How much is this t-shirt? This. This. Haciendo referencia que está cerca. Miren. This one. La estoy tocando. La puedo tener incluso en mis manos. How much is this one? ¿Qué si yo no quiero mencionar? Porque se sobreentiende que es una camisa. Look. Puedo reemplazarla. Este nombre, t-shirt, by using the expression one. one. Esta. ¿Cuánto vale esta camisa? Oh, how much is this one? ¿Cuánto vale esta? ¿Por qué? Porque estoy viendo lo que es. No es necesario mencionar esta camisa. Y mucho menos decir esta camisa negro con verde. No, we can also say in a different way, using one, singular. How much is that t-shirt? Or we can also say, how much is that want? Reemplazamos y podemos ocupar one. Indicándome que uno está cerca. Dos, que podemos decir uno en vez de camis. Consulto. Which one? ¿Cuál? Which want? Which t-shirt? Which one? one? The blue one. Okay. The blue one. Somos específicos. La azul. Así será la traducción. The blue one. Which one? The green and black one. Okay. Plural. Take a look if we're talking about two shirts. Or... Sneakers. In the example, we have a sneaker. Vaya, ayúdenme a leer la número 12. Sneakers. Hagan la pregunta. How much? How much? How much are? Are the sneakers? Are these sneakers? ¿Cuántos sneakers creen que tenemos? Just one or more than one? More than one. More than one. In this case, two. Two sneakers. Do you know the meaning of sneakers? ¿Saben qué es sneakers? Yes. ¿Qué como, tipo de zapatos le llamamos zapatillas, en sneakers? Las, Ajá, las zapatillas las como las... ¿Como cuáles? Ajá, Ok, okay so how much are these sneakers? O podemos omitir. ¿Será que podemos decir solamente these? Sí. Incluso podríamos decir how much are these ones? Aquí en el ejemplo, no sé por qué no me le pusieron también eso. Agreguémosle, how much are these ones? Solo que aquí, miren, plural. Porque hace referencia a más de un objeto. ¿Cuánto valen estos? Plural. How much are these? How much are these sneakers? How much are these ones? Lo mismo con those, un objeto que está lejos. Hagan la pregunta con ese. Vamos, clase. How much? Those, how much are those sneakers? Ay, aquí que le hace falta. Ones. El signo de interrogación. Ah, sí. No sé por qué no está. Vamos a decir. How much are those sneakers? How much are those? ¿De qué otra forma puedo redactar esa pregunta? Vamos, ayúdenme. How much, how much are, are, those, are those? Those. Ones. 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 Plural siempre, porque hablo de dos sneakers. Ah, puede alguien preguntarme cuál es? Which, which one? one? Si no es uno, which one, no, which one, cuál which es? One. Y somos específicos. The, The gray, gray one. ones. Entonces, ¿para qué me sirve 
utilizar esta palabra para ser específico, para realzar los grises, the gray ones. Ni siquiera hablo de los azules, de los verdes, no, the gray ones, los grises, that's it. And then we practice by saying brightly. Questions about these ones. Okay. If you prefer, you can use the noun or you can use the expression one or ones. Pueden ocupar cualquier estructura y estaría bien. Ocupar el nombre de la prenda o también ocupar la expresión one and ones. Este, estos. Okay. Vamos a la práctica. Here we go. Take a look at the practice that we have right now. What do you see in the picture? ¿Qué pueden ver en la picture class? What do you see here? Shoes. We have shoes, but can you, can you be more specific? Be specific. We boots. have? Boots. Okay, boots. What color are these boots? Uh, brown. brown. We have browns. How Blue. about this one? Are these boots? Nice brown. Oh, yeah, oh. probably, right? Brown. Pero tenemos dos tipos de brown. ¿Cómo la distingue? Uh -huh. We can say dark brown. Brown light. Y dark brown. Light and dark. Así light. la podemos distinguir. Porque ambas son botas. How about this one? What is it? Those are cups. Cups. Ah, are they the same color or different color? Different color. Ah, what color is this one? Gray. 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 And this and one? And blue. And blue. ¿De qué otra forma las pueden distinguir, clase? Tal vez mencionando esto. The gray cup with... A soccer ball, uh, no sé, yeah. or the blue one with a tiger. Podríamos ser más específicos. And here, what do we have here? What is this class? Yes. Sunglasses. Sunglasses. And what is the difference between this pair of sunglasses? Different oh, the the color, color. color yeah. right? These are red, red and pink. And pink. pink. Vaya. ¿Cómo vamos a hacer este ejercicio? Miren qué dice acá. Add prices. Ustedes agregan el precio que deseen. Uno, add prices. Y luego, ¿qué vamos a hacer? Ask. Y la otra persona is going to answer the questions. ¿Cómo va nuestro ejemplo? Número uno, let me see. Jacqueline Vanessa, si me ayuda. Jacqueline va a leer la letra... Oh, yeah, letter A. Y yo voy a responder con letter B. Veamos si nos sale. Vamos, Jacqueline. Uh, okay. uh, how much are these books? Books. How much are these boots? Elijamos esta. How much are these boots? Otra vez. One, two, and three. Ask the question. Pregunte otra vez, por favor. Um, how much are these boots? Which one? Um, the brown ones. Oh, they are ninety-five dollars and fifty cents. That's expensive. That's expensive. Están muy caras. That's expensive. Así se dice. That's sí, expensive. That's expensive. Expensive. Very that's good. Expensive. Vaya. Vocabulario a resaltar. Miren. Which ones. Creo que en este ejercicio vamos a utilizar ones en plural para referirnos a qué objetos. A las bots. A las botas porque es un par. Ones. Son glasses, porque es un par también. Y aquí va a ir en singular, miren, which one, cuando nos refiramos a la cap. Y acá también hay que tener ese cuidado para responder. Y tratemos de grabar un comentario sobre lo que nos están vendiendo. Si es demasiado caro para ustedes, podemos decir que that's expensive. Mm, un precio razonable. That's okay. That's Not bad, no está tan mal. That's reasonable. Es un precio razonable, prudente. That's cheap. Está barato. That's cheap. Ok. Vale, let's practice right now. Y también lo vamos a hacer eh, como clase. Here we go. Andrea Esther. Probemos con Andrea Esther. Let's try right now. 
y elijo esta. Voy a elegir la gray cap. Ok. Eh, empiezo entonces. Hola. Ok, hoy sí. Se me había desconectado el micrófono. Vamos a ver. Andrea, go please. Hoy sí escucho. Go. How, much, how much are these gray cap? Vale. ¿Cuántas gorras son, chicos? ¿Una o dos? Two. 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 ¿Y por cuáles vamos a preguntar específicamente? ¿Por una o por dos? Oh, oh. One. Por la gris vamos a preguntar en la conversación. Entonces sería, vamos, Andrea, how much is this cap? Porque es solo una. Otra vez, vamos Andrea. How much? How much is this cup? Okay. Which one? The gray cup. Okay. The gray. Tratemos de decir the gray one. La gris. Mm. The gray, no, the, the gray, gray one. one. Muy bien. Okay, look. It's. Um, ¿Cuánto le ponemos que vale? Eighty-nine dollars and fifty cents. Mm -hmm. That's expensive. That's expensive. Muy bien, muy buena conversación. Excellent. That's expensive. Vale. Ahí están ambos ejemplos. Si quiero hablar de algo que esté en plural, uso la conversación de arriba. Si quiero hablar sobre una cosa, uso la conversación de abajo. Let me send these pictures so you can practice. Bueno, quiero ver what time is it, class. No, por el tiempo no los mando a grupos. Mejor practiquemos acá. Irving Ezequiel. Let's start right now. Vamos a ver con Irving. Let's start the conversation. And you are going to ask about this one. Pregunta sobre esta. One, two, and three. No, please. How much are those, those glasses? Which ones? The red ones? Uh, they are five dollars and seventy-five cents. That's reasonable. That's reasonable. Excellent. Siguiente, Jessica Carolina. The blue cap. Preguntemos por esta. Vamos, go please. How much is this cup? It's eighty nine dollars and fifty cents. Um, oh, no, which one? I'm which, sorry, which one? The blue one. Great, the blue one. It's eighty nine dollars and fifty cents. Mm, that's reasonable. Oh, that's reasonable. Okay, let's see. Valeria, go please. You are going to ask about this one, the light blue, light blue. Go, please. ¿Cuál? El the, que está en el cuadrito. Mm -hmm, the light blue boot. Yes. Pero le cambió el color, ¿verdad? Mm -hmm. Ahora son, porque esas no son... Son celestes, le. Mm -hmm. Okay. How much is this uh, cup? Uh, but, but, perdón. Which ones? The blue lies want? Ah, the light browns. Uh, they are $10. They are $10. Mm, that's reasonable. That's all right. That's reasonable. Very good job. Okay, Lenin. Tengamos a Lenin. Va a preguntar y le va a responder. Oops. ¿Quién le responde? Let me see. Gloria. Gloria Guadalupe. Vamos. You are going to have the conversation about this one. Pregunten sobre esto, chicos. Oh. Okay. Which ones? Um. The pink one. Oh, 
de Pinto. En el caso de Juan Carlos, ya que trabaja en el incendio. There are um, ten dollars. Solo por... That is expensive. Ok, that's expensive. Very good job. Me encantó. Muy buena conversación. Siguiente. Catherine Giselle pregunta. Mercy responde. Let's go. Van a preguntar sobre esta. La gris, the great one. Go, girls. Catherine Giselle en Mercy. Go. Um, how much in six cup? Which one? Um, They take great one. Uh, it's $89.50. Thanks, expensive. That's expensive. Muy cara, dicen. Very good job. Carla Elizabeth pregunta y quién responde. Jessica Elizabeth, go girls. Practiquen con esto. Go. How much? Are these books? Which one? The brown ones. The brown ones. It's a nineteen ninety. That's expensive. Ok. ¿De cuántas botas estamos preguntando, chicas? ¿De una o dos? Dos. Ajá, va. Entonces, recordemos eso. Cuando consultamos en plural, ellas son o they are. Ellas valen. They are. Ajá. Cuando hablamos de un solo objeto, it. It's it. Ok. That's all right. So, before we go, el tiempo se nos va muy rápido. Les envío este. Y mientras les envío esto, quiero ver. Que alguien que me pregunta por un cell phone. ¿Cómo iniciaríamos la conversación? ¿Quieren comprarme un cell phone? Okay. ¿Cómo preguntarían? ¿Cuánto vale? ¿Cómo me dirían? ¿Está barato? ¿Está caro? Okay. How much is this? Vale, empecemos la conversación. Okay. ¿Quién? Andrea. Yes. How much is the cell phone? Which one? Uh, <laughs> the iPhone 10. It's fifty-nine dollars and twenty-five cents. That that is cheap. That is cheap. Very good job. Y ahora le voy a vender mis lentes. ¿Quién me pregunta? Acuerden, es plural, lentes, clases. ¿Cómo me preguntarían por mis lentes? Vamos, hagamos una conversación. How much are those sunglasses? Muy bien, vieron que Gloria usó those. ¿Por qué? ¿Será que tiene cerca los lentes o lejos? Lejos. Lejos. So, how much are those sunglasses? Continuemos, Gloria. Which ones? Mm. Your sunglasses. <laughs> ah, my, my, my glasses. They are $125.50. Oh, um, it's okay. No, it's okay, me gusta. ¿Qué más les voy a vender? Let me see, I don't have anything to sell. ¿Qué más les vendo, chicos? My wallet. ¿Quién me pregunta sobre mi wallet? My wallet. How much is that wallet? Which one? The light blue one? It's ten dollars. Uh, okay, it's reasonable. It's reasonable, I like it. ¿Quién me vende algo? Yo le pregunto. Sell me something. ¿Quién me vende algo? It can be a cell phone, a notebook. Whatever you want to sell. Para practicar la conversación. Let's go, class. Ok, Carla Patricia, go, please. Carla Patricia, how much is that pencil? Which one? The 
black one. Is it black one? Let me see. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah. Okay, the black one. It's uh, one dollar. <laughs> oh, that's okay. Give me two pencils. <laughs> <laughs> Vamos a ver. One more, one more. ¿Quién más? Alguien que quiera practicar, que no haya practicado ahorita el uso de, en este caso, precios, vocabulario de sobre los precios. Alguien más. The last one. Nos queda un minutito. The last one. Desde aquí veo las intenciones, las que se atreven a encender el micrófono, pero no. Sí, pero no. Dicen. Don't be afraid. Yes. No? Okay. If not, don't forget to practice. Mañana traemos la misma dinámica, solo que le voy a traer más items, más items. Y quiero que ustedes nos están observando. Dice, don't worry. Este, aquí es donde pueden equivocarse en la clase. Cuando estamos en grupos... Perfecto, equivoquémonos. ¿Para qué? Para que nos sintamos seguros cuando ya estemos solitos en un contexto real. ¿Ok? Así que practiquen esta conversación. Se las envía WhatsApp. And time is over. Se nos acabó la clase. Si hay más preguntas, no olviden traerlas para mañana para que aclaremos las dudas. Gracias por el esfuerzo. Sé que a algunos les falla el internet, pero aquí estamos conectados. Thank you, class. Let's continue tomorrow. Have a good night. Bye, teacher. Thank bye, you. Bye, take care. Bye. 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 Bye, take care.